In early November, the Danish government announced that they will call 17 million mink. The animals are big business in Denmark, Europe's largest exporter of mink pelts. Those pelts are used to make these, and these, and these. EU exports of mink pelts are worth hundreds of millions of euros annually. But earlier this month, the Danish government said this. We're taking all necessary and appropriate actions, including the culling of all remaining mink in Denmark. That's because mink have infected humans with a mutated strain of COVID-19. Now, there are worries that this new mutant could mean a setback in vaccine development. What's going to happen next? Could this mutated virus really ruin our chances of a vaccine? Here's what we know. In Denmark, there have been five clusters of coronavirus mutation in mink. And it's cluster five that jumped to humans. A lot is still unknown about what the mutations mean, but WHO's preliminary studies suggest that it has moderately decreased sensitivity to neutralizing antibodies. What does that mean? Well, these antibodies stick to the virus, so it can't enter our cells. But antibodies are specific. If the virus were to change, the antibodies would no longer be able to attach themselves as effectively. And if that happens, it's possible that vaccines made for one version of coronavirus will not protect us as effectively against this new version of the virus. But it's not time to panic yet. Most vaccines work by targeting different parts of the virus. So even if this mutation makes our antibodies less effective, that doesn't mean that the vaccine as a whole won't work anymore. Coronavirus mutations happen all the time. We see them among humans too. So why the fuss about this one? Well, mink can act as a reservoir for coronavirus, like bats and humans. Now that we're aware that the virus can be passed from a mink to a human, we know that more of this transmission could happen. And the more it happens, the more genetic modifications like cluster 5 can occur naturally. The result could be a virus so changed it becomes too difficult for our bodies to recognize and fight. Not only that, but mink farms make it incredibly easy for viruses to spread. If these mink-to-human transmissions keep happening, it would be a lot more difficult for us to keep human cases down. The Danish government's decision to cull the mink population may be seen by some as an overreaction. In fact, there has already been pushback in the Danish government against it. But they must take into account further possible mutations and the possibility of a mink epidemic. This forces us to look at farming practices and virus transmission in that context. This event has shown that it represents a threat in the future. We need to look at what this means in the long term. Because at this stage of the COVID-19 pandemic, with over a million deaths and over 14 million active cases, we can't afford a parallel epidemic. <laughs>